Hello and welcome to part one of the tutorial on how to make a techno track. So once you've downloaded the files into the downloads folder on your PC, you need to go to file import audio and as you can see they're in your downloads folder. Select one kick sample. So double click on that and you can see it will take up the whole of the screen. My advice is use the, the little magnifying glass minus there which is zoom out tool and that will take up less of your screen. If you press play you can hear it. It's just a series of drum beats which is what a kick is. So what I want you to do is select the whole of the track, go to effect, go to repeat and just repeat it once okay so click OK you've now got two copies of exactly the same um, kick sample highlight the second set like I have done there okay go back to effect and this time select distortion and in the distortion type drop down there's lots of options select soft overdrive okay click apply and you can see this is now different if you close that window put your cursor there and press play you can see the difference or hear the difference okay so it's just made your kicks slightly more interesting because they're slightly different you can have a play around with that what I suggest you do now is if you click over here where my mouse is pointing you highlight the whole track you can go back to effect and repeat and I suggest four repeats okay when you click OK and zoom out, you can now see that your whole track is over 35 seconds long, OK, which is fine. OK, so the next thing I need you to do is import a second track. So we go back to File, Import, Audio. And actually, I'm going to select five vocal samples, OK? So here we go. And that's come in. And if you mute the kick sample track and just press play. Your actions are illogical. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. So there are three different voice samples, okay? I actually prefer the middle one here. So I'm going to delete the last one just like that. Press delete. I'm going to highlight the first one, press delete, I'm going to take off the silence at the end of that one and I'm going to drag this voice um, to about there, okay, after the beginning few beats it's going to kick in there and again if I unmute the first track and press play. Something for your mind, your body. Okay, if I press stop, now you might find that's a bit slow, so if you want to speed it up, you can um, highlight that vocal samples track, go to effect and change tempo, and where it says from 6.55 to 5.36, you could perhaps just shorten it to say 5.5 seconds, so just knock a second off. Uh, what I mean is speed it up by a second, and that's slightly quicker now when you press play something for your mind your body and your soul also what you can do to make it louder is select that vocal samples track go to effect go to compressor this window pops up just click ok take the defaults and click ok and that just will make the voice sound stand out a bit more like now something for your mind your body your soul. Okay, so that's the first two tracks. Next, I want you to do a file import audio and go and find your two clap samples. So double click on that. As you can see, that comes in at the bottom. Uh, to view all these now, you can go to view, track size, fit to height. And my advice is here, where my mouse is, right click there and move the clap sample up. Um, so it's just below the kick sample. So I want these 
claps to start playing just after the first set of beats. If I mute the uh, other two tracks, you can see what the claps sound like. Okay, so what you actually want them to do is play just as the just before the beat of a drum or the kick. So if I zoom in using the plus sign here, the little magnifying plus, I can see that that's playing too early. If you play it too early, it doesn't sound so great. They're out of sync. So you just need to position it so it's about there, and then it sounds a bit better. Still a bit too far to the to the left, so I'm going to move it a little bit more to the to the right. So if you're happy with that, select the clap sample like I have, go to Effect and Repeat, and select say two repeats, and they come in here. Again, just scroll along to see how they sound next to the beats. Again, if you're happy, you can do a few more repeats on the, uh, the clap sample. So I'm going to do that. Effect, repeat, just two more this time. There they are. And if I press play now, and that's not too bad. Okay, so that is how you start off your techno track using the three audio tracks I've shown you so far, and I'll join you in part two. Thank you.